what we saw during the financial crisis um, was government intervening in the mode of picking winners and losers to a degree we've never seen before. When you have a government, in the case of the federal government, that spends $3.5 trillion a year, that's an extremely powerful incentive for private actors to get involved in the political process and try to get a chunk of that money. The framers themselves were concerned about cronyism. They were concerned about well-organized interest groups, what they called factions, commandeering the government in order to enrich themselves. They set up a constitutional structure that was designed to prevent that from happening. I think what we've seen over the course of the 20th century and reaching a new level when it came to the financial crisis was an erosion of those constitutional uh, uh, constraints. We've now seen for the first time the major shift where people are not just altering policy, they're creating policy and spending programs that are pumping billions of dollars into certain industries to force certain outcomes. And once you've laid out and established that you are a too big to fail industry and you operate on the assumption that when I need it, help will arrive. Basically what I think we're unfortunately seeing is like the law of gravity, or at least sort of seeing that way to the founders, which is as soon as you give interest groups and politicians the opportunity to enter into these corrupt bargains, they take them. If they think that it's gonna give them some sort of gain. And I think unfortunately, that's what we've been seeing is an erosion of the constitutional culture and in the wake of that, an erosion of the political culture where this seems to become more and more acceptable.